Okay, guys, this is uh, part two that we're doing of the week six terminology 105.19 class. Um, this is module eight. We're looking at female reproductive system and pregnancy. Uh, I was having some problems with this one because I was in the it's the week six interactive lecture. That's where we want to be. And in that one, as you can see, I'll show you a sec. This is what we're looking at here. Week six interactive lecture. This is chapter seven, male reproduction. That's when I did section one, two, three. Today is chapter eight. Now there's a whole bunch of other stuff to look at and read and it gets very confusing. I understand that. So we're going to stick with this one because that's what I'm going over. The Shyland Mastering Healthcare. Um, uh, module outline and stuff are available for that one. Let me see if I can open that up in another window. And it says, of course, blocked for me. So that's that's always fun. Pretty frustrating, isn't it? So this one, it has this kind of uh, green background with the orange here, and you have these like little things on this side. You can choose to go forward or whatever, whatever you have. And that's what I'm going to be going over today. This is our review for the reproductive system female edition and pregnancy. So this might be a little bit longer. The last one we did was about 30 minutes, I think, and that was quite a that was quite a doozy. So we're going to go in through this. Um, uh, <laughs> intended as a supplement to your text, not as a substitute. So it's supposed to help with the text. The text you have is the book itself, and that's another whole animal, uh, bookshelf learning, and it has all kinds of different things in there with a little bit better pictures and things like that so you can get a better idea of what everything looks like, and that's good. You can also watch some of my other videos here on YouTube. Uh, I'll try and put them up like over here or something like that on the male and female reproductive system is a little bit more general, but you should get the idea of those. So module objectives of this one, analyze, define, and build terms and abbreviations. Um, analyze, define, diagnostic, uh, recognize by listening the words and how they pronounce them too. So this is going to talk about internal and external anatomy of the female reproductive systems. So we're going to go from like the uterus all the way out and from the, the, the uh, vestibule all the way in. Gynecology is the study of female anatomy. So um, diseases of the female reproductive the gynecologist is one who does that, right? So obstetrics is uh, like the, this OB obstetrics. Those are the ones that, that do childbirth and pregnancy. So you go to a gynecologist, of course. If you're just having regular female problems and you go to a OB GYN, they sometimes are paired together, but an obstetrician, you know, obstetrics to have um, baby stuff figured out. So, primary function of the the system is to is to uh, let's see, create life through new successful fertiliz fertilization of an ovum, hold on to that ovum, develop that that ovum into a uh, embryo and eventually a fetus and then eventually you know your little newborn neonate which is what they're called um, ovum or ova so ovum is one egg ova or uh, many eggs there are many ova and ovaries are where they're made so egg cells produced by paired ovaries in the female glands beginning at menarche menarche is the first uh, period that anyone has menopause is the last or cessation of it because it pauses <laughs> Uterus uh, history. So, interesting facts. So, uterus um, <clears throat> or womb, okay, we call it, uh, also called hysteris. So, people say you're hysterical. That's where that word comes from. They used to think, and this is like literally used to think, that the uterus could break free inside the body and run around and cause all kinds of problems. I don't know why and, and who decided on that. Maybe ancient Greeks or somebody. But that's kind of a weird thing. Um, you know, give you like increased heat and make make you angry and stuff like that. So anyway, but uh, that's where a hysterectomy. You have the uterus removed. It's not called a uterectomy. It should be, but it's not. Hysterectomy usually has a complete hysterectomy, as the the uterus and fallopian tubes are all taken out, uh, and ovaries are taken out, and then uh, um, same thing. So you know that's what we have it in there. Salpingo salpingotomy is we fallopian tube removal. Okay, we have those cut out. Salpingo is the uh, other term for um, the uh, fallopian tubes. Okay, so you can see the, the diagrams in there. Uh, the whole thing looks kind of like a weird alien. You got the ovaries uh, on the sides, and you have the fallopian tubes that reach around kind of like this and hang on to those ovaries, which would be here. And those are all connected to this big old thing that looks like a pear, <clears throat> which is the uterus. 
And then the uterus releases out into the cervix and the cervical os into the, the vaginal canal and stuff like that. Okay, here we are back again. We I had a little phone call to deal with. Um, anatomy and physiology, external nerve anatomy. This is a chat. Your answer is the test provided. Beginning of okay, beginning of menstruation is called menarche, and the end of it is called menopause. We'll move on from there. Internal, external ovulation animation. You can watch that. The pituitary gland is very important that in both males and females. I don't know why they don't talk about it as much in males, but they don't. So, FSH is one of those hormones that's released by the pituitary gland. It's called follicle stimulating hormone. So what it does is it stimulates the follicle to start working. Okay, and the next one is uh, estrogen, which is created up in uh, uh, from the ovary based on what FSH is told it to do. Okay, LH is luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing hormones means to it opens it up. And then ovulation is <clears throat> the release of the egg. And then we have what are called the fimbriae, which are like fingers of the uh, fallopian tubes. Okay, corpus luteum, yellow body, and progesterone. It talks about that, and that is really confusing stuff. But I think you can, you know, get those ones done, and they're pretty good. Ovum release causes it's called ovulation. Next in here, let's, oh, speaking spells. Let's see what we got here. Testosterone. Menarche. Menarche. It's menarche. It's not menarche. Menarche is malarche. This is menarche. Gynecologist. Gynecologist is good. Fallopian tube. Fallopian Ovulation. tube. Ovulation. Luteinizing hormone. Luteinizing. Follicle stimulating hormone. Fimbria. Fimbria. Uterus. Uterus. Estrogen. Estrogen. So it's menarch, not menarche. I've never heard it said like that before. That's really weird. Uterus, the perimetrium, and the myometrium. Whenever you see myo, remember myo means muscle. So the myometrium is the muscular part of the uterus. It's smooth muscle. And it's got the three layers like many of your organs do. The outer side is called the perimetrium. And then the inside is the endometrium. The endometrium is what sloughs off during the um, uh, periods, okay, which we call uh, menstruation. Okay, spermatozoa, spermatozoa. There we go. We got actually we got those ones pretty good. Sagittal view, retro ureter. Okay, that's just oh the cul de sac. So cul de sac means the the cul means to end or to de kill. Really, is it like cul, cul of the sac. So it's the end of the sac area. So it's the end of the end of the area. That's all it means. The Douglas cul de sac, which is a retro uterine pouch. And here we go here, the internal, external, external female genitalia. As you go from the top, you will see something called the mons pubis. It used to be called the mons veneris, which the mons means mountain. It's the mountain of the pubis. And the pubic bone is where they're talking about the symphysis pubis. Same thing in the male. It's in the same place. Males have them too. It's just not really highlighted in that thing. And as we go through, you have the labia. Labia mean lip. And they have a majora and minora and those things too. And then we have Bartholin's glands and the mons, blah, 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 blah. Oh, getting through this one here. Oh, yay. Okay, so the myometrium. The broad ligament is a really big one down there. The fallopian tubes. We see the fimbria, the ovary, the cervical os, or the cervix, and the vaginal canal. That's going to be your... Section 1, 1 1-10 activity labeling the female reproductive organs. Uh, then you got, what is this here? Internal, external, female. Anatomy. It's just it, more video stuff that you guys can watch, which I think is good to watch. Um, here, here, listen and choose. Let's see. What is the singular form of the term ova, the female sex cell? Remember ova? with the sing <laughs> Well, they tell you half of it. So, oh, wait, what? What is the singular form of the term ova, the female sex cell? So ova is many. So ovum would be one. Sorry about that. <laughs> they talk about breast tissue, masto as in mastectomy, or mammo as in mammogram. Now why do they call it mas mastogram or mammoectomy? I don't know, but that's just the, the kind of terms they've come up here. Um, they have areola, nipple, uh, adipose tissue, a lot in there. You'll see the alveolar glands. And it goes through the structure and the lactiferous ducts and lobes that are that are inside there. Not much doing there, but they have a whole structure, which is a little video of those kind of things. Um, labeling. Okay, there we go. We have looks like there's muscles involved in this one too. That's good. Okay, you guys can get that pretty easy. Uh, audio review. Oh wow. 
and listen more listen and choose on a two five listen to pregnancy and birth okay threaded case study which is jackie i guess probably the first days of jackie's menstrual period says his sharps office report new symptom she's having cramps only worse uh-oh she could have what's called an ectopic pregnancy which is a pregnancy that's begun outside of the uterus so let's look up that one uh, conception occurs when the ovum and the sperm meet and they stick together what happens is the sperm gets in there and then it releases its its uh, um, genetic material which is half of the normal genetic material we have and then the the females ova um, the ovum okay which has the genetic material from mom half of it basically those meet together they mix up and then you have a kid right that's a person <clears throat> zygote gestation gestation is the, the the it's growing that's what it means to gestate implantation human hcg human chorionic gonadotropin that's the pronunciation of that one that's the pregnancy hormone oh embryos amnion amniotic fluid they'll talk about yolk sacs this is three four just going through this i mean if you need to, to pause it and take some notes on this it'd be a good idea this should be the stuff related to the quiz and the discussion boards and those kind of things placenta fetus and umbilicus oh the umbilicals okay good parturition that's birth when it parts okay that's what it means uh primi gravida multi gravida primi gravida um is first time this means primary okay primary gravida gravid means to be pregnant okay multi gravida is many kids and nulli is none okay uh could be also multi paris okay is a usually that's the term we use in notes is multi paris you know whatever or you can just write has three kids easier to do that way had has usually has had three three pregnancies and three three live births that's the way it'll usually go prenatal postpartum postnatal antepartum and all this fun stuff oh boy look at this oh more listening to let's see how these ones sound Turition. parturition parturition there we go zygote zygote embryo embryo gestation fetus pregnancy human chorionic gonadotropin yeah oh. human <laughs> chorionic gonadotropin chorion chorion amnion umbilical okay those are pretty good some of them are not pronounced quite correctly that's really weird but they would be like that women who is pregnant for the first time primary pregnancy pregnancy and birth what are we doing here oh more of your fun of those things female reproductive system and pregnancy part two. Oh, a quiz and then it goes straight to the quiz let's see like what that looks like nope nope no i guess not you guys get to take the quiz oh boy uh, just reading here okay it's disorders of the ovaries fallopian tubes and uterus uh anovulation means none there's no ovulating going on polycystic ovary syndrome is poly many cystic little cysts ovarian syndrome uh, probably salpingo remember salpingo means the the fallopian tubes itis salpingitis would be inflammation of the fallopian tubes pid is pelvic inflammatory disease used to be a really bad thing especially with iud's and some other like people would leave their tampons in too long women would leave tampons in too long and they could get uh, an infection and that could turn into pelvic inflammatory disease which could cause sepsis and death so we don't want that change them things right uh bit about bit about conditions hysteropsis retroflexion retroflexion and then you can even have that's a tipped okay or oh, wow coloptosis okay which is vaginal prolapse means the the uterus has come out because they've had enough kids and all that stuff has been over stretched and overworked and you can end up with all kinds of uh, loosening of those materials endometriosis a condition of the endometrium okay outside of the 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 um uterus every month it becomes very painful and can cause other weird bleeding problems and other unusual cramping and that kind of thing very simple very common very very common uh, sometimes they'll put young girls on they have endometriosis they will put them on uh, uh um what are they called <sighs> birth control pills even though they're not sexually active but it does maintain and, and control the 
the levels of progesterone and estrogen so that the body thinks it's pregnant and doesn't create more. Okay. More speak and spell. Here we are. Seven, one, seven. Anodulation. Okay. Salpingitis. 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 Is, is, salpingo is the, the fallopian tube, right? Hydrosalpinx. Hydrosalpinx. Uh, it's got to be have hydro's water. Hysteroptosis. Hysteroptosis, good. Endometriosis, menorrhagia. Menorrhagia, that's dysmenorrhea. Dysmenorrhea, difficulty or problems with uh, menstruation. Metrorrhagia. 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 I have to look that one up. Menorrhea. Premenstrual dysphoric disorder. Premenstrual dysphoric. That's that's just your. You become cranky when you don't feel good. Gosh. Okay, activity take as this as her bravest women ever. Her new history. Yada yada. Okay, you gotta read through that. Oh, fallopian tubes. Cervix cervicitis. Leukorrhea, which is leuco leuco means white. Okay, so like white flow of something flight discharge. There it is. Usually a uh, uh, vaginitis, which is a a inflammation or in the, uh, the infection of that. Now you could have disorders of the breath. Here they are, mastitis. Mast, remember mast and mammo are the similar terms for breasts. So we can have inflammation of the breast, mastitis, or theliitis, theolitis, inflammation of the nipple, galactorrhea, um, abnormal discharge of milk. That can happen because of progesterone or maybe a, a prolactin release from a pituitary issue, actually. So you can have a pituitary tumor, and sometimes that will happen. Mm, pituitary, remember, that's that little gland up in the brain that makes that stuff to tell the ovaries how to act. It also makes stuff for the thyroid and some other areas as well. Uh, it goes through pathologic conditions. Neoplasms, it talks about fibroids, leo, myosarcoma, teratoma, mature teratoma, uh, remember, we were talking about that one. It's a terror. It's like like a monster. It has a, many of the tissues. It may have bone tissue. It may have muscle tissue. It may have hair tissue in that tumor. It's a very weird kind of thing. Fibrotic changes. And then breast cancer it talks about. Uh, and neoplasms, which is breast cancer, right? Then it talks about probably, what are we in here? Uh, Miscarriage is ectopic pregnancy. There we go, finally. Okay, those have to be surgically removed because, man, that, that can kill the mom. We don't want that. Plus, eclampsia and preeclampsia are some conditions that the mom ends up with that change her her um, sugar levels and her blood pressure and all that kind of stuff. It's not good. There's a whole thing in here. Erythroblastosis fetalis is when mom's blood doesn't match baby's blood. So Rh negative and Rh positive. We talked about those back in blood time. Remember? Parturition. Oh, okay. Meconium staining. The presence of fetal fecal matter in the amniotic fluid oh, okay so what he's got a poop you know oxytocin let's see here some words speak and spell again placenta previa placenta previa the placenta is previous to the kid it's ahead of the kid cephalopelvic disproportion okay ectopic pregnancy <laughs> meconium staining meconium is the baby's poop remember okay ectopic pregnancy ectopic outside of the uterus Nuchal cord. Nuchal cord. Nuchal cord. Dystocia. Dystocia. Good. Preeclampsia. Preeclampsia. We talked about that. Oligohydramnios. Abruptio placenti. Abruptio. Erythroblastosis fatalis. Okay. Abruptio placenti. What is that? Abruptio placenti. Abruptio placenti. It sounds like something from Harry Potter, doesn't it? But what it means is, is that that started first. It's coming out first. Oh, gosh, look at this. So there's about three, four slashes required. What? This is a helipelic. Okay, good. Easy to do. There's a lot of stuff in here, too, man. We're at 20 minutes. <sighs> Other pathological. There's more quizzes. Okay, hysterosalpingography, which is, is a, a, a picture, basically an x-ray with contrast in there. You can see what's going on in the hystero. That's going to be the uterus and salping. There's a fallopian tubes. Right? Uh, get in there and do these other ones. Mammography. Oh, it gives them smashed down there like a book. Okay, correct answers. Diagnostic procedures. 
Yeah, hysteral salping os uh, uh, salping salpingoscopy. Look that one up and write it down. You're gonna need it. Let's see what else we got here. Culpo, culpo, culpo means like cup, right? That's what we're looking at the uterus. Um, uh, biopsies, ooh, laparoscop, lapros, lapro, uh, laparoscopy, pap smears, huh, very good. Another speaking spell, we're going to skip that one for now. Gee whiz, pregnancy tests, yay, pluses and minuses, two, two things and none. Alpha fetal protein test, amniocentesis, they're checking out the baby, they check the, the amniotic fluid. Make sure baby's okay. They can check a lot of uh, genetic stuff with that too. Here we have chronic sampling, non-stress test. Okay, dilatation, D and C. Okay, dilation and curettage. So it's cutting or like getting getting it out. There's a little video on that one. Ooh. Pair mammoplastomy, ma mastect mastectomy. They take out the breast tissue, right? Lumpectomy, take out the lump. Ecto, take it out, right? Um, colpoplasty, surgical repair. Plasty is repair, okay? Rhinoplasty is repair or, fit, or like a nose job, okay? Um, it would be must, uh, uh, mammoplasty. So again, we're looking at like, why is it masto versus mammo? Don't worry about it. It's just common, it's it's convention, which convention means that's what we usually say, okay? Uh, hysteroplexy, or they can do all kinds of repairs. And that, that's, that's, that's again, plastic surgeons, right? Okay, oh boy. Uh, infertility, Ugh. Uh, IVF, in vitro fertilization. So write these terms down. You're going to need them. I'm telling you right now. And then they do sterilization, tubal ligation. It's kind of the t have your tubes tied, right? Hormone replacement therapy at menopause. There's all kinds of different ones there. Another speak and spell, which we're going to pass up. Diagnostic procedures, episiotomies. So episiotomy is a surgical incision to make sure that things don't tear when baby comes out. A vagina right so the natural childbirth not cesarean section cesarean section is from julius i don't know if it's julius caesar but caesar was born by cesarean so he had to be cut out of his mother and that's what started the whole thing so they started cutting and i think they did it out of the side back in those days but they, you know, they, they started doing it at the bikini line and they used to do it straight up and down from the belly button down and then they started doing it at the bikini line like this so there wouldn't be less of a scar which was nice okay um, then we have APGAR score, uh, PKU test, congenital hypothyroidism. There's all kinds of different issues there. And there's another speak and spell. Gee, willikers, this thing goes on and on and on. I am at like lesson 448. Orders, diagnostic procedures, and therapeutic interventions. So we have salpingo lysis. That's a, a, uh, um, probably a disorder on that one. Hysteroptosis, preeclampsia is a condition, Colops, uh, col colposcopy. That's a procedure. Tubal ligation procedure. Dysmenorrhea condition. Pap smear is a diagnostic procedure. Sonohysterography, uh, that's a, a diagnostic. Amniocentesis, uh, diagnostic. Um, uh, episiotomy. Therapeutic intervention and erythroblastosis fetalis is a disorder, and oophorectomy is a uh, therapeutic intervention. So, do there you go. Oh, and then a giant list of words that you can listen to see. Let's pick a hard one. Progesterone. Yeah, progesterone. You can listen to all these fun words. That's cool. If there's any you don't know, listen to them. Check them out. They look weird. Try them out. You don't have to do all of them, but it's a good idea because you're doing vocabulary, right? Case study two. Um, controllable preeclampsia, yada, yada, yada. Vital signs. Oh, this is really good. They'll have three activities with that one. Make sure you guys, when you're doing the, the discussion boards and you're doing the case studies and stuff like that, make sure that even though you download that case study page, that you put the answer on that case study and then you load it back up as a doc file, a docx file, or a PDF. The other ones are too hard for me to open up, and I'm not going to go chasing around apps and stuff on my computer to open up the stuff that should be turned in this way. we got to figure this out, guys. Um, also, with your, your discussion boards and everything, make sure that you are always answering them and responding to two other students and make sure that those responses are bigger than things like I agree or yes or correct. Go on with it. Take something that they said and repeat it in your own words. That's the best way to do it. You need like three sentences in there. Otherwise, you don't get like those 
almost half the points can be on that stuff anyway. Don't forget to subscribe to this too because you may not use it this term, but you may use it next term. And there may be other classes that we have together, hopefully. Maybe anatomy and physiology. Mm, conclusion. Yay, conclusion. Man. American College of Obstetrics and Gynecologists. Remember, obstetrics is for childbirth and gynecologist is for non-childbirth for mom stuff so there we go that's the whole section module eight female reproductive system <sighs> and pregnancy i did a big hike today so i'm really tired so i'm gonna let it go from there my cat's about to walk on the computer so if you hear beeps and stuff uh he's gonna probably come over here any second and say hi so you guys make sure and watch for the next one i already loaded up the first one we're gonna load up the second oh, there he goes he's moving over here oh, come over here he's um he uh this this is this is this is the cat right here this is baby cakes and he's a okay there we go okay he got sorry sorry about that so that's uh anyway let's let's end this here we'll go ahead and <laughs> let him uh uh aw, love me up and uh, he's lonely today he was bored. We went hiking and left him here all by himself with uh, just the daughter and the dogs. So anyway, you guys have a good one. We're going to do the next one, which is going to be, um, uh, let's see, stuff on the final exam. So I'm going to go through that. We're going to talk a little bit about the words on there. So watch that one and then uh, get ready for next week. Here we go. This is the end. Good luck. Make sure and get your old stuff turned in if you haven't done it already. A lot of times we're not taking off because there's been extenuating circumstances because people have had problems logging in people have had problems getting their books together people have had problems uh getting their canvas thing sorted out so go ahead and and let that be um your motivation to go and get those many of the the quizzes also have two attempts so check on those two the final only has one attempt so make sure you take your notes and leave them with you and we'll go from there you guys take care and we'll talk to you later on